All right, welcome back once more to another video for deciphering hieroglyphics, this time on the temple wall with the sunken reliefs, which is generally known for Ramses II's new approach to avoiding being usurped or having his hieroglyphics removed. This is the temple of Nefertiti in Abu Simbel. This is a temple that was built alongside the great temple of Abu Simbel by Ramses II in Aswan, which is one of the famous temples in the south by the Nubian borders. Now, this is interesting to look at. This is the main entrance right over here. So if you ever get to Egypt, you can walk right through here and kind of see the inside of the temple. Uh, what you have on the, each side is the statue of Ramses, uh, both wearing uh, the crowns of uh, to both crowns of Egypt. And beside him on the very bottom are his little children, which are next to him here. Now, Nefertiti actually stands on the very opposite side, right over here on each side. Now this is very unusual and peculiar to have the female um, queen or even a consort to be the same size as the pharaoh. Uh, this only showed the amount of love he had for her. She was his first wife or beloved wife of his many wives. And hence he loved her so much that he made her his equal in a sense. So let's begin to decipher the hieroglyphics here. Some of the stuff might be too damaged to, to be able to decipher. I won't make a guess, so I don't uh, deceive you or misinform you. But what we're going to do is we're going to start on the left side, and then work on the center, and then continue on to the right. So starting from the left, this is a little damaged here, but based on pattern, this is the word Neb, or Lord. If I gave you an example, the word Neb is right over here. So you can see what I mean. So you see right over here, that's the word Neb, and the word Neb, which means Lord. Or all, depending how you put it. So Lord of the two lands is the same as over here. Lord of the two lands, beloved of Amun-Ra. Working our way down, these are the two symbols of Egypt the Upper and Lower Egypt, the Sedge plant, and the bee. This is King of Upper and Lower Egypt. And now we have the name of Ramses is one of his titles. This would be User Ma'atre. You could see it here, Setep, N, and then Re again, the smaller sun disk compared to the big one here. Moving down, we have Sun of Ra. And we have Muri Amun, so Muri is scratched off, and this would be beloved. Emin, and then we have Ra Masis, Ra Masis, so Ra Masis Muri Amun. Here we have ruler, beloved again of the two lands. The word given, life, like, raw. And the very bottom here is very difficult to see. This is the jet. This is basically the word jet, which is forever. It's a cobra with a small little bread loaf and the flowing river. Of, uh, usually the, the notes letter N, so jet. Now, We'll go to the center, starting from over here. It's very hard to see what this is. This is broken off. I won't really take a guess, but I'm sure it's one of the many repeated titles that you see in other monuments and temples. But we'll continue anyways. So right here we have the same word again, just simple. Beloved of the two lands. Moving over here, I can only assume it's Ra, but we'll just say, or Amun, but we'll just keep it as one or the other. Amun or Ra. But because this is over here, which resembles the ray denotion of the circle, I'm going to say it's Amun-Ra. Then Lord of the Two Lands, once again it repeats right over here, one of the titles, the same title as before, Usur Ma'at Ray Setep En Ray. So, this is Mighty is the Justice of Ray, Chosen of Ray. That's how it means literally. Moving over here, we have Son of Ray once more. Lord of the diadems. So this is plural. This is the diadem or the appearance symbol. So it's a mountain or the, I mean, it's a sun with its own ray rising. So this is a plural. So it's appearing, Lord of appearances. And again, the title, Amun or Muri Imen, Muri Imen Ramesses. So beloved of Amun. 
Ramesses. So Ramesses. Over here we have either Ma'at or Ra, and we have of the two lands, or we have actually, let's rephrase it, Ra, beloved of the two lands. Now the two lands usually would be denoted as two lands, two straight lines with three dots on the bottom. But this can also be denoted, denoted as two symbols for ruling. So he ruled the, 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 the two lands, the upper and lower Egypt. Now we're going to come down here on the left side. This is a continuation by the entrance door. We have the word nefer for beauty or good. So this is the good God, Lord of the two lands. Once again, the title, Usur Ma'at Re Setet En Re. And below we have Beloved Muri Imen Re Amun Re. So Beloved of Amun Re. Now we'll move over here. We have the same thing. Nefer, which is the good God, Lord of the two lands, the two lines. Here you can see them. The title once more, Usur Ma'at Re Setet Setep Enre. Now here it's very difficult to see based on many different photos. I can only assume this is Horus based on the way it is cut out. And this is the Ha symbol, which is the word behind. So this would translate is as, I guess what would translate as beloved, the word beloved. All, so beloved, all, the net behind him, Horus, or you would say Horus, his beloved all behind him. All right, so we'll finish off here on the right side. Now this is Ray. Now I'm assuming there was an Amun Ray here somewhere, but it broke off. So we can only assume it's Ray for now. Ray in ruling. So this is pluralized for the word ruling. Beloved of Amun. I'm sorry, beloved of Atum. I apologize. So we have a different word here. We're Emen, I M N N. This would be Etum. So this is Atum. So Re ruling, beloved of Atum. Going down here, we have again the Sedge and Bee plants of Upper and Lower Egypt, which is king of Upper and Lower Egypt. Once again, the title Usur Ma'at Re, Setet N Re. Now oh, it says he, the word he, who has made the temple, so this temple, okay, in seizing or laying out in this mountain in construction forever, so eternally of the two lands beloved of the foreign either lands or beloved of the foreigners so this is a symbol of foreigners most likely the Nubians who he set up this temple here as a show of power at the very south cataract of Egypt well there it is that's pretty much the uh, hieroglyphics you can see here I hope this helped if you have any comments please let me know any questions regarding this video um, please like and subscribe. You can visit my Instagram page with the same title and I'd be happy to always help and reply back pretty quickly. So if you have any questions or any suggestions, I'm more than happy to help. Thank you very much and have a great day.